Hi everyone, this video is going to demonstrate installing the SI2016 server. Uh, once you've chosen the machine where you want to install the server, you can install either from the disk you received from Dtools, or you can contact our support team for the most current download at uh, any time. When you launch the installer, you're going to see a uh, form similar to this, and you're going to want to go ahead and click the Install SI2016 Server button. And that's going to launch the uh, installer. Go ahead and click Next. Uh, go ahead and read through the license agreement, or at least scroll down to the bottom of the agreement and check this box, and then click the Install button. It's a uh, quick installation. Uh, now that it's installed, uh, you're going to need to run the SI Server Configuration Wizard, and there's a button right here for that. So we'll go ahead and click that, and that's going to open up this form where you have the option of running the Express Configuration or a Custom Configuration. We recommend running the Express configuration which is going to download and install uh, SQL Server Express 2012 uh, on this machine but if you happen to already be running uh, an instance of SQL where you want to install our software um, you can run the custom configuration. You can also run the custom configuration if you want to change some of the default folders of where we're going to store projects on the server uh, as well as some data um, but if you don't have a preference on that again we highly recommend that you uh, click the express button and let it install a new instance of uh, SQL Server Express 2012 so that's what we're going to do in this example. After clicking the express button um, you're going to be asked to enter a username and password as well as an email address. Now um, this is the default here, just the username will be admin, the password will be admin, and of course if you want to change that, go ahead and do that. Make sure you make a note of this though. Um, we often hear in support um, users calling us to find out what their admin password is, and we're not going to know that. So uh, definitely if you're going to change this, um, remember it, write it down somewhere. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put an email address in here for the information there. Then go ahead and click uh, next here. And this is going to give you a summary of uh, the installation. Uh, the server name is going to be the machine name that you're currently on where you're installing the server. Uh, the default port for service is going to be 9010. For our mobile quote, it will be 9011. And here are the default folders for data uh, backup, as well as the SQL Server name that's going to be installed. So again, we do recommend using these defaults when installing our software, unless of course, again, you have personal preferences or you have to change the uh, ports uh, if your network uh, administrator requires that. Go ahead and click Next. And this is going to go ahead and uh, download and install uh, SQL Server Express 2012. In my case, I've already got that installed. So uh, now it's just installing the databases for SI 2016. And uh, your process will be a little bit longer uh, as it downloads and uh, installs SQL Server Express 2012. But this is installing the databases. And when it's done, you're just going to go ahead and click the Finish button. And that is how you uh, install and configure the SI 2016 server.